Good morning everyone, this is Hector from My Yellow Kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make basic sourdough bread. It's based on the Bread Bible by Rose and uh, this is an adaptation I made which makes the, the, the recipe really really simple and it, it has a slight different texture but I consider consider it ideally and you know nobody really needs to buy any bread after you see the results. It makes perfect paninis or toasted bread. It freezes well, sliced and it heats perfectly. Actually I prefer it heated, toasted than eating it by itself. Okay, the first step is to to um feed the starter. This is stiff starter that I keep in a little plastic container in the refrigerator and this starter hasn't been fed for approximately a month and as you can see it's still perfectly fine it changes color and um, <coughs> just make sure it is uh, being in the refrigerator all this time so I always like to wet my hands first and also wet the surface of what I'm gonna weigh. This prevents the uh, bread dough from sticking to your hands. Okay, so I'm gonna weigh my starter. This is old starter that needs to be fed. So this is 325 grams. Okay. Three hundred twenty five grams to feed stiff starter. You follow the instructions on the bread Bible. Basically, for three hundred twenty five grams of old starter, anything within a week old to as long as it lasts in your refrigerator, you're gonna add equal amount of flour. So three hundred twenty five. This is my mixer. You can do this by hand, but really, you need to get a mixer if you're trying to make your own bread. And I'm using a spiral mixer from Bog, but the KitchenAid Artisan or 6 quart works just as fine with a dull hook. Okay, so you will need, I need to add equal amount of flour, bread flour, I'm bleached. 325 grams 325 Okay, that's 325 Um, bleached bread flour and now so we're feeding our starter our old starter we're gonna add half the amount of water and I like to use um, Brita water because it will remove the chlorine which will um, it doesn't kill your starter but it just makes things safer because chlorine could slow down or eventually kill the starter if you don't have a breeder pitcher, you can use water that has been sitting in a bowl, in an open bowl for overnight. So 325, half of it will be 150 something. Oops. 157? No. 163. Okay, let's go. 160. A little bit more than 160. There you go. It's a... Uh, a lot easier and um, what I like to do is at this point um, mix this by hand just, just with the same hook or you can let the machine do it but it's just a lot easier to do it by hand again I'm mixing equal amount of flour half amount amount of water by weight just 
just with a hook of your mixer, can be this mixer or can be um, uh, the KitchenAid doll hook. Okay, so now I just dump the starter in. The old starter. Right? Um, and, you know, just break it into maybe four parts. Yeah, this is what bread is all about, you know, it looks kind of strange and it's... And there are a lot of benefits of uh, sourdough bread for your health. And uh, this is how bread was done before the invention of um, commercial yeast. Okay. Um, oh. Well, the starter one, the starter is it's really old, like this one is a month, it gets wetter. So that's what you see. Now I mix this for um, three to five minutes until the consistency of bread dough, which means uh, you're going to see a, a, a dough ball and you will also see the, that dough detaching from the, from the hook and, and, and separating, you know, just cleaning the bowl itself and all coming together into a, a bowl. Okay, now we're going to go to the mixer area.